What's happening people? Back in the kitchen again and today I have found it's not a new product I don't think it well at least it doesn't say new on the pack but it's new for me because I've not seen it before otherwise I would definitely definitely have tried it because regular viewers of the channel will know that I love a good lemon and mint product that lemon and mint pie I had the other week was fantastic mixed opinions in the comments but that's the beauty of uh, food isn't it we all if we all like the same thing it'd be boring anyway on to today, I have found these, boom, lamb and mint koftas, sound unbelievable, like meat on a skewer, you don't get much more caveman than that, beautiful, lamb and mint koftas, it says cooked from frozen, which these are, and I've also topped up my uh, supply of crucial yoghurt and mint sauce to go with it, because just it, ju it just works, it's just better, so you get six in here, I'm not sure of the price, I'll, uh, I'll have to look at my receipt and come back to you. But they do look great, and I'm sure they're going to taste great. So, let's have a look at this pack, and hopefully we get some nice lamb and lamb, minted lamb meat. Ooh, should be good. Right, come on, down here. So here's the pack. It's like a no frills sort of pack, it's not really too much going on on the pack. They've got some rice there on the serving suggestion, but we're just going to try these on their own. And some look, look like some olives there, but it says cut from frozen six lamb and mint koftas, and it's 300 grams. Best before the 11th of February 2024, 11th of February 2023. Hmm. Oh, yeah, frozen on. <laughs> I was like, what? So, we've got plenty of time. So, 300 grams, and there they are. No messing, straight into it. A bit frozen. We can actually open them because they're. So they're not too big, probably finger length, but you get six of them. Make a decent, it'd be nice on barbecue, I think, probably. Right, let's have a look at the pack. Let's see how to cook these. So, ooh, lots of different. Barbecue from defrost. De you can defrost with 24. For best results, cook from defrost. Oh, is this cooked from frozen there? So you can grill these from frozen. Or air fry from frozen. Grill from defrost, barbecue. So we're going to air fry these. We're going to put them in the tower for 16 to 18 minutes. Set temperature to 180, preheat for three minutes. Remove, wrap the skewers in foil. Right, okay. And turn halfway through. We're going to have to wrap them up. That is the ingredients there. So you've got 41% lamb and 36% mutton. So that's big, that, isn't it? That's 77% uh, meat, 5% mint. So that's 83%, so all the rest is just rubbish. <laughs> and they've got one allergen there, metabisulfite. Mutton fat. There's a bit of a crumb, rice flour, gra gram flour, maize starch, brown sugar, mint seasoning. Looks all right, to be fair. And that is the nutritional information. 97 calories per kofta grilled. 7.6 grams of protein. That is just for one, remember. All of them are just for one. And a little bit of information there, it says, minced lamb and mutton kebab with mint seasoning formed on a wooden skewer. 300 grams, so there should be 50 grams a piece. Origin of lamb and mutton, EU and non-EU. So it just says, well, it could be anywhere, couldn't it? Basically, that's what they're saying there. But as is the case with light kebabs. So, I'll wrap... Th Shall I wrap it in foil? I'm going to leave them in this, in this tub and put them in the... Um, in the air fryer and that. I might just cover this with foil. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, rather than wrap them up, because then, then all, all the fat that comes off will all be in here, and it can, it can cook in its own fats, which is what the foil's for anyway. So I'll cover this with foil, and then I'll get it in the tower, and I'll bring it back when it's time to give it a taste. So I have wrapped this, the foil container in foil on the top, so it's all covered up, and I'm just gonna put them in there on the bottom shelf. They can't go in the middle because of the, the rotisserie, is, uh, it makes it too big, because this just fits in, so, We'll go with that, and then we'll bring it back when it's done. I'll keep checking it, make sure it's okay. So, as you can see, the tower is on. And there is a chicken burger in there as well for Mrs. Dino. Um, however, it's about this for us today. The lamb and mint koftas six-pack here are £4.50 on their own. That's 75 pence per kofta. But currently at the time of filming, and I generally they keep this uh, deal going, so this might be a long-term deal. They're in the three for £10 offer, so you can get this for £3.33. So if you like the look of these, you can actually pay 55 pence per copter rather than 75. 
So it's always worth looking out for the deals, especially at Iceland. So I'll bring you back in uh, 16 to 18 minutes when this is done. Okay, so the kitchen is smelling absolutely fantastic, really minty. That minty lamb kofta smell is everywhere in this kitchen. It smells unbelievable. Can't wait to taste it. Now, I did learn a valuable lesson, and that is to read the instructions and follow the instructions, Dino, because when I put them in that metal tray, I put them in the tower for 15 minutes and it was still like, ice cold. They hadn't been, they wasn't cooking at all. Literally defrosted and that was it. So I took them out and as the instructions say, I wrapped each individual foil, in each individual kofta in foil, like I should have done from the start. And that's when it started cooking properly. So here they are. So the lesson is follow the instructions. They're there for a reason, right? Let's have a taste of these. Let's get them unwrapped from this foil and have a taste. All right, let's get this first one unwrapped. They've literally just come out now, so they are red hot. Oh, look at that. Got to be careful not to have any tin foil left on them, but I'll tell you what. Look at that. Not focusing. It doesn't want to focus that because that's there. I didn't want to focus. What is going on here? There we go. Look at that. Right, I'll unwrap the rest and we'll have a taste. <laughs> It's all important taste time. Now, I'm going to go straight in for this. Look at that. Looks absolutely magnificent. And let me tell you, it smells fantastic as well. Mm. That's a good kofta. Oh, wow. <laughs> really nice the mint's just subtle it's not overpowering sometimes it can be really overpowering now I do think that it's going to be better with this crucial sauce which I love on kebabs and coffees and things like that <clears throat> this but it's alright on it's own as well hmm Imagine this on Imagine this on the barbecue outside in the red hot weather. Unfortunately we don't get red hot weather here very often. But these are really nice. <clears throat> really, really nice. There's nothing much else I could say about them to be honest. I'm gonna open this uh crucials now. This sauce is absolutely fantastic i already know that so here we go <laughs> this is how it should be done wow This is right up my street, this. Wow. I was half expecting them to taste like the minted lamb grill steaks that you get, like really rubbish process, but there's a lot of meat in there compared to them, um, them little grill steaks. I'll put a picture on there what I mean, the minted lamb grill steaks. I was just having them when I was a kid and I loved the flavour ever since then. <clears throat> These are absolutely fantastic. Probably could be a little bit bigger maybe for the money, but unfortunately you don't get a lot of a lot of value for your money these days compared to just a few months back. However, I'd buy them again and I will buy them again. 
they are absolutely cracking so 10 out of 10 for me there it's absolutely spot on can't beat them uh i'll see you guys in the next one i hope it's as good as this one probably won't be but we'll see thanks for watching Somebody say just Special. Wouldn't buy that again.